Olivia from Vet Vegan Gene on Welfare, and today we'll be making my absolutely perfect vegan pie crust. The first thing you're going to want to do is get all of your supplies together. It makes it so much easier, so much faster. Just grab whatever bowl you have. It doesn't need a match. It doesn't need a cereal. Bowls are great. First off, what you're going to have is your three cups of sifted all-purpose flour. The one that costs $1.50 for five pounds. Perfect, fine, cheap, gonna be great. Then we have our one third cup pure cane sugar. It's granulated, trust me, it'll melt like real sugar. We have the salt. I use Morton's uh, coarse kosher salt. Um, there's a teaspoon of that in here. Then we have six tablespoons of room temperature or tap water. You can use either. Do not have cold water. No matter what you hear on the internet, everybody swears by it. This is the secret to the pie crust. It's the room temperature water. Then, as the base of what we are doing, we have Country Crocs plant-based butter. We have a stick and a half. It tastes like real butter. It's gooey. Delicious. And then we have the one half cup of Crisco or vegetable shortening. What these do is the Crisco makes it flaky. It makes it just bakery style. And the butter at this, at, with this combination, it makes it very buttery, very flaky, very great. For your supplies, you're going to need the measuring cups to measure it all out. You're going to need the plastic wrap because we'll be wrapping it at the end. And you're going to need a spatula scraper. I got this, it's Betty Crocker from the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a, a large capacity food processor. It's gonna make it easy, the cleanup's easy, you don't have to do all that work. Super good. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first step, and I'm going to have this all linked in the description to the website where you can find all these things to cook along with me. Um, you're going to take your butter and you're going to put it in the food processor. Then you're going to take your Crisco and put it in the food processor. Take your sugar, dump it right in. Same with the salt. It's like making a cake, you put it all in together, it's a good base. Now you're going to put it on the plate. Take it out. Be all melted, all mushed together, just like that. You're gonna take your flour and make this easy. We're gonna just dump it all in. Put the top back on. You're gonna pull. The And when you see it and you notice it kind of getting built up on the sides a little bit, you're going to take your, your spatula thing, you're going to scrape the sides down so it gets all blended evenly. On. take it out it should be the consistency of play sand do you remember that sand when you were a kid when I was a kid there's the sand and you put it in water and it would hold up if you have that reference in your head that's what this looks like and you know you've done a good job okay and this is where the magic happens this makes the pie dough I'm gonna take three tablespoons first of your water 
it in and we're gonna blend that together. sides a little bit so it's starting to come together. You don't want it to be too crumbly because then you can't roll it out and you don't want it to be too soft. It has to have some substance to it so you can pick it up, you can put it in the pie crust, you can mold it up and that's what my recipe does. Makes it easy. Put the rest of the water in here. Okay, now this is where you're going to need your cutting board or a flat space. You can even use the counter. It's fine. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be dividing the dough into half. And we're going to wrap each half. If you're doing like an old-fashioned granny apple pie, you can have the cover. You can do two quiches. I've done uh, four ramekins. I could probably eke a fifth out of that. Um, but you're going to take half. You're going to take your plastic wrap, pull the sheet out, so bad with plastic wrap, and you're going to put half the container of dough in one piece. In this dough, this dough need, does need um, a full hour of refrigeration. We'll wrap it up. You don't need to knead it, it's just all in a little plastic bag. If you are doing the ramekins, you don't need to divide it. It's not a, a magic thing. It does help though because um, the more you work with the dough, the warmer it gets. It kind of doesn't. It's not as stable. You need it to be really, really stable to mold. So bad at the plastic. Anyway, here's the next one. I use my hands. You might want to use a spoon. I don't know. My hands are clean. I always wash them. Just puts a little bit of love in it. If they're not perfectly even, it's fine. Um, you might want to make them more perfectly even. I always find that I use less dough on the top of an apple pie than I do on the bottom. So you might have a bigger one and a smaller one, whatever works for you. I'm gonna wrap it up. And you're done. You just prepare it to your recipe. I've cooked this from 350 to I do the, the end of the quiches at 425. Um, of course, do the foil on the outside, but just prepare according to your recipe. And you, we're done with the pie dough. You have delicious vegan pie dough ready for your recipes. This also freezes well. You could freeze it for up to three months. You just take it out. I tend to put it in the refrigerator so it doesn't thaw so quickly. 
I, I just have a thing with that. Um, you can do it on the countertop. It comes out ready to roll. It's kind of a little bit like Pillsbury, but that has been my absolutely perfect vegan pie dough on that vegan Jew on welfare.com. Visit the website, tons of more recipes. I'll upload more videos, more how-tos. Bye.